A gastric residual volume, or GRV, is the amount of gastric contents found in the stomach at a single point in time. To obtain a GRV, the clinician connects the feeding tube to a catheter tip syringe with the plunger in place, and then pulls on the plunger to extract whatever is in the stomach. The total volume gets measured in milliliters, and if it is determined to be a safe amount, the contents are reinserted and the tube feeding continues. If it is determined to be an unsafe amount, the contents will be discarded and the tube feeding is held until the GRV decreases to a level that is deemed safe to resume. This is a common practice among nurses in the acute care setting. However, there is a high amount of variability in what is considered to be a safe amount and an unsafe amount. This can lead to unnecessary holding of tube feeding and therefore decreased nutrient delivery and increased risk for malnutrition. One issue with GRVs is that the procedure for obtaining a GRV measurement lacks reliability, meaning it is difficult to establish consistency from patient to patient. Factors that have an effect on measurement include the feeding tube diameter, the position of the feeding tube in the stomach, and the technique of the individual clinician. Another issue is that the monitoring of GRVs does not necessarily lead to better patient outcomes. The current body of evidence suggests that elimination of GRV monitoring is not associated with risk of aspiration or aspiration pneumonia, nor does it have a significant impact on duration of mechanical ventilation, ICU length of stay, or mortality. It is for this reason that organizations like the American Society for Parenteral and Enteral Nutrition and the Society for Critical Care Medicine recommend against the routine monitoring of GRVs for ICU patients receiving enteral nutrition. Knowing that many institutions would be hesitant to adopt this recommendation, these organizations also state that if GRVs are obtained, holding feeds for a GRV less than 500 mLs should be avoided as long as there are no other signs of feeding intolerance such as vomiting, abdominal distension, or the reduced passage of flatus or stool. Whether or not the elimination of GRV monitoring is embraced, there should always be an official policy in place for clinicians to follow. As part of this policy, there should be guidelines for reinserting residuals less than 500 mLs to avoid the wasting of valuable calories, protein, fluid, and electrolytes. Water should also be flushed after reinsertion to minimize the risk of clogging the feeding tube. Education and reinforcement of the policy need to be an ongoing process to ensure there is compliance. For any clinician who is hesitant to adapt the policy, it may be helpful to position it as something that will give them more time to dedicate to other tasks while also helping the patient receive the nutrition he or she needs for healing. Thank you for watching. Check out these videos for more content just like this.